All right, I'm really enjoying my Benchmade bug out. Um, so I want to put a new edge on here, but these straps are pretty dirty and they've been, I've used these straps probably way too long before I cleaned them off. I couldn't tell you the last time I cleaned them. Um, so I figured I'd take, the, take a second and show you how I clean my straps off. And I actually saw Smoke Eater 908, which I think he changed his, the number in his name. Um, but I saw him years ago use alcohol to clean his straps. So that's, that's how I do it now. Um, you can see here, this is 91% isopropyl alcohol. Um, I say use whatever you have. I don't use alcohol, so I happened to buy this when I went to purchase it. And I'm gonna use paper towel. And by the way, this is the <clears throat> this is the five micron Wicked Edge strop. Five and 3.5 micron Wicked Edge strop. And th these are the one and 0.5 micron Wicked Edge strops. So I'm gonna start with the more coarse of the two and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let me get some things sorted out I'm just gonna lay out a paper towel or two on the table just so I don't make too big of a mess and I'm going to squirt just a little bit on here and I'm just gonna work that back and forth and you can see how that stuff just starts to come right off. And I'll just continue to work the work the alcohol <clears throat> on the leather and clean this stuff off. And just continue to clean it, continue to clean it, continue to clean it. And then once I think I have it cleaned enough, I'll turn around and I will go ahead and reapply the... Um, the uh compound to the strop so i'm just going like i said continue to work the alcohol into here and you can see how all that stuff is kind of starting to come off you can see it here and let's see let's compare the two so this this is the five micron side this is the five micron side you can see it doesn't look a lot cleaner but you can see this is the before and this is the after and if I continue to clean it it'll get a little bit cleaner but it's never going to be back to the natural brown color that it was um, I'm, I'm gonna cut the video here and I'm gonna process the other three of these straps I, I don't think that we need to continue showing this I think it'll get too boring and I'm gonna jump back in when I'm actually reapplying the compound and I'll show you how I reapply the compound so I'll catch you in a minute okay I've taken the time to clean them and as you can see there is a significant amount of basically metal shavings and uh, used compound that came off of the, the straps. Now, the one thing that I will say, because I know it'll come up, um, this is one thing I, I never worry about too much um, is cross contamination. A lot of people, that conversation comes up whenever I post one of these videos. If, if you're one of those people that's concerned about cross contamination, I would start with your most fine uh, grit compound, that side of the strop, and work your way up. Because that way, the only thing that's going to happen, if anything, is your higher, your, your more coarse compounds are going to become a little bit more fine. So, for example, if you're moving from 0.5 to the 1, your 0.5, if it gets onto the 1, it just will knock it down a little bit from 1 micron, you know, so on and so forth. I, I really don't have an issue with that, but I know that comes up, and that is how I would work around it. Um, I, I've never had an issue with it, though. Anyhow, you can see here, they are, they do still appear to be kind of dirty, but if you look back <clears throat> at the before, you'll see that they're cleaner than they started off. And like I said, you're never going to get them back to the original brown. Now, these compounds are a little bit lighter and a little bit um, less abrasive, so they don't quite mo remove as much metal. So they're not, they don't get quite as dirty. And you can see there are a few nicks on the paddles and everything. Um, that, that happens. It's not a big deal. Uh, now, 
since these were basically soaked in rubbing alcohol, I'm going to sit them to the side for a little bit and let them dry out. Since it is rubbing alcohol, it, it dries out pretty quickly. And once it dries out, I'm going to go back and use my, use my compounds here to reapply on each side. And I'll come back and I'll show you that as well. Okay, it's been about um, 20, 30 minutes since I cleaned the straps off. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is, this is how I would generally clean any of my straps. Um, now the reapplication is gonna be different because these compounds are uh, paste, and most of them are not paste if you have, if for your other straps, like paddle straps and things like that, like, like this here, like my flex strap. This is actually, it comes in a bar, like a, almost like a bar of soap and you have to kind of um, heat the leather and apply it that way rub it on there and apply it that way this this is easier because this is a paste and you can just squirt a little bit out as I'll show you in a second and um, I, I rub them together some people use their finger I'll show you how I do it uh, I'm gonna start with the five micron side and that would be Let's see, let's find the right paste. That would be, not that, not that one. Of course, it's the last one I pick up. So, as you can tell, or maybe you can't in the video, these little tags will come off. I don't know if they've changed the uh, applicator that they send to you. Uh, I've had these pastes for, years i've had the wicked edge pretty much as long as it's it's been out but what i did because these will pop off i wrapped some tape around here to keep the labels on so i'm gonna find the five micron side i'm gonna go right to the middle and i'm going to squeeze out just about that much and that's actually probably a little bit too much but that's about the amount I'm going to squeeze out. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the paddles. I'm going to kind of rub them together like this. Rub them together the other way. And basically, I just want to get an even coating on each one of these paddles. As even as possible. So, sometimes you'll have to just work them together the best you can. Like I said, some people use their finger. I prefer to do it this way and it doesn't take a lot of this compound what you'll find the first few applications at least for me is actually the um, the compound will kind of gunk up on your knife a little bit and it'll take a while to get the excess off of the paddles but that's about it you squirt a little bit on there make sure you get it to coat pretty evenly and you're good to go again for I, I don't know um, different people say you can use it for a different number of knives I'm not gonna put a number on it usually I look at them and when they start looking kind of black and, and dingy then I know it's time to clean them so that's how you reapply that's how you clean the straps and reapply paste to the Wicked Edge straps specifically I appreciate you guys watching um, I'm gonna do a follow-up a little bit later on today with the giveaway information I'm gonna have a more complete video on that and before that I'm gonna do an unboxing because I've got some new stuff coming in and part of the stuff I've got coming in I'm gonna add into the giveaway as well so I appreciate you guys watching I'll catch you in the next video later on today thank you